My name is Kumar Aditya and in this video I will show you how you can protect your electronic circuit from voltage transients using a TVS diode. So let's say this is the circuit I am trying to protect. So I have two ceramic cap and one current source. This current source is uh, emulating the load, uh, load current drawn uh, from the DC bus. This is a 12 volt DC bus supplying my electronic circuitry and this 12 volt DC bus is being fed from car battery which is now charged to 14 volt usually uh, automotive 12 volt car battery has operating range of 8 volt to 16 volt so right now I have kept it 14 volt just for an example now I have selected this component of certain voltage rating for a 12 volt DC bus these are rated for 50 volt uh, one would uh, ideally use 25 volt or 35 volt a component, uh, maximum 50 volt component on a 12 volt DC bus. So it's very important that voltage on this DC bus should not exceed the maximum voltage rating of this devices. So, so what happens is that let's say you are you have 14 volt on your DC bus and due to some reason there is sharp transient voltage transient. And this transient can go as high as you know 200 volt or 300 volt and so on and certainly this 200 volt is greater than the voltage rating of the component you have selected so it will have a neg negative impact on your circuit this voltage transient could be positive it could be also possible that is negative it is possible that it's only single sort it's also possible that it's repetitive pulse so it's very important to have some certain kind of mechanism which makes sure that voltage on this DC bus is clamped to a certain maximum limit which is safe for our uh, component in this circuit board. And in the third circuit I have created a test pulse, uh, this pulse 1 and this is a uh, standard test pulse defined by ISO 76372 standards and essentially this blue dotted box represents the pulse generator and this R3 is the internal resistance of this pulse generator this R3 value of internal resistance is also defined by this particular standard so this V4 is my 14 volt battery and on top of this V4 I have this transient pulse. So if I run the simulation without TVS diode, if I run the simulation without TVS diode and I plot this voltage, this, this is the green trace I get. So I have 14 volt and after some time I have transient of minus 100, 150 volt. Uh, which uh, has pulse width of almost 2 millisecond. So this is the specification of pulse 1. See there are different kind of test pulses which are used to emulate different kind of transient. There is one pulse 5 which is used to emulate load dump in automotive, uh, automotive electronic. You can read about it. Uh, essentially uh, these are standard test pulses. They have, uh, they are different from each other in terms of what is the uh, peak vo voltage, what is the pulse width, what is the rise time and fall time of these pulses, and so on. So these are named uh, like pulse one, pulse five, pulse two, pulse two A, pulse two B, and so on. So obviously, this will be very. Uh, uh, critical for our uh, component safety so let me show you what will the effect if i put back this uh, tvs diode into the circuit so if i connect this tvs diode now this is rated for maximum clamping voltage of 48 volts so i do not expect voltage on this dc bus to exceed 48 volt if this tvs diode is connected so if i run the simulation so this is the pulse generated from the pulse generator you see here and if I observe the voltage on the DC bus you see this blue trace is, is uh, maximum peak is minus 38 volt. 
so certainly lower than the 50 volt rating of this ceramic caps so it will ensure that my electronic components are protected against this pulse wall so i hope you get the idea and uh, you can apply the concept to test your electronic circuitry using different kind of standard test pulses you can read about it on uh, just by simple google search and if you have any question you can leave that in comment section bye bye